Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate my Y for you, which is basically a personal hotspot that you can make on your iPhone, on your jailbroken iPhone. And um, it costs 20 bucks, it's a one-time payment, so instead of paying AT&T, I think it's like $45 a month, um, you can buy this app for one-time one -time payment for 20 bucks, and you can have it forever and you can tether to your laptop, to your iPad, up to five devices with my Y. And um, so you can get it in Cydia or Rock, I believe. I got mine in Cydia, and I just typed in my Y, and it was right there, 20 bucks. So when you open it up, it's got a really nice interface. It's really simple to use. Um, it's really laid out nicely and easy. Uh, so as you can see, this is the main page. You can um, click on all these different things. This is home. You can look at my or the Wi-Fi hotspot, set up stuff. You can um, turn it on from right here. You can name your hotspot. So mine's just named iPhone, so I can find it easy. Um, and you can also have a WEP security uh, turned on on your iPhone so that people have to type in the 10 digit code for when they want to connect to your MyWay. Um, the next one is USB. So if you wanted to just plug your iPhone in to your laptop and have a single connection, you can use it USB and tether that way. Um, you can turn it on. Here's advanced USB. It's got all these nice settings. And here's Bluetooth. If you wanted to tether it with your Bluetooth right to your laptop, you can do that. They said that this is the lowest battery setting, but if you have your laptop plugged in and you just want to do a single user, then I would use USB because then you can charge your laptop and your iPhone at the same time. So uh, the main feature here that most people are going to use, and I don't know why this is in the way here. There we go. Um, is the Wi-Fi hotspot. So basically what you want to do to turn it on is just tap this button right here. And as you can tell this blue bar at the top, it is saying that we are tethering via my Y. Yeah, right now we're using my Microsoft's 3G internet connection because AT&T is pretty bad where I live. And as you can see, you can see your uh, data usage down here as well. You can see how much battery is draining. So there we go. I mean, you can exit out of this and it's still gonna work this blue bar only shows up when you're on the my Y app and when you're on the home screen if you're going to anything else like settings for instance it's gonna disappear because it doesn't want to get in your way it only wants to show you when you're on there and it still shows your data usage and it shows you that you're using my Y tethering so how do you know this works well I'll go ahead and show you so yeah up to five people can connect to this and you want to go to Wi-Fi on any device that you're going to use so you can do this on your laptop as well and as you can tell right there uh, iPhone um, you just click on it and type in your security code I don't care if you guys see it your 10 digit WEP security code and click join and and there we go as you can see we have the Wi-Fi status bar up there and we're connected to my iPhone so um let me go ahead and demonstrate this to you to make sure it works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser here. And let's load in Gadget. And as you can tell, it is loading in Gadget right from my iPhone, tethering. And this is using my Microsoft's internet, but it's going to work over 3G anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going pretty slow because it's the Microsoft, but if you're on your regular 3G connection with five bars, you could get some pretty high speeds um, depending on AT&T's coverage. So uh, I have one user connected right now, but if I wanted to load another, say from my Mac, which is conveniently right here. So as you can see, I'm uh, here on my Mac now, and you can tell that my iPhone network is right here. Um, it's under devices. It's not listed as an actual network, but it's a device uh, when you connect to it on your Mac. So I'm going to click it, type in the password real quick. And um, what I do is I usually just, I make sure that I click don't remember this network because sometimes my way has a problem when you want to reconnect to it that it doesn't connect right off the bat. So now we are connected. As you can see, we are connected to a device under Wi-Fi. And let me go ahead and zoom out. And if I were to open up Google Chrome, Apple.com is going to load up here. 
and there's the iPad too very nice and we are still connected with two users on my iPhone as you can tell we've used one megabyte downloaded so it's really convenient I mean it shows you everything about this and we're still connected to the microcell and um, that's pretty much it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to tether with your iPhone for 20 bucks a one-time payment so you don't have to pay AT&T that 45 bucks a month um, and it works pretty well I mean you can connect up to five devices with your iPhone you can see your data usage to make sure you're not going over your limit and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one